don't have to be beautiful to turn me on. I just need your body, baby, from dusk till dawn. You don't need experience to turn me out. You just leave it all up to me. I show you what it's all about. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Ain't no particular sign. I'm more compatible with. I just want your extra time and your kiss. <clears throat> You gotta not talk dirty, baby, if you wanna impress me. You can't be too flirty, mama. I know how to undress me. Let me be your fancy, and maybe you could be mine. You just leave it all up to me. We can have a good time. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Ain't no particular sign I'm more compatible with. I just want your extra time and your kiss. Make a better dance now. Your shoe size, maybe we could do the twirl. You don't have to watch Dynasty to have an attitude. You gotta leave it all up to me. My love will be your food. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. If you want to see pompous critics sounding off about movies. He's one of the movers and shakers in this business. Once again, Tom Jones. <laughs> That's a whole new generation out there, Tom. Yeah. A whole new generation of women and, and panties. And the guy over there likes you, too. <laughs> This is, uh, this is off the album, The Best of the Art of Noise. Okay, so now how'd you hook up with these guys, The Art of Noise? Well, I was doing the song in, um, in my show, in my stage show, mm -hmm. last year, and I was over in Great Britain doing a tour, and I did the song on uh, The Last Resort with Jonathan Ross. It's like a, a David Letterman type show. Mm -hmm. And The Art of Noise saw me do it, you know, on, on the show. So they called me up and said, would I like to record it with them? And I said, yeah, why not? Let's, let's give, it a, give it a go. Now, why did you have a song like Kiss in your stage act? Well, I, al I always try to update the show as much as possible. So I put in... Um... While Larry Bird is indeed Boston's number one superstar, 
It is number 44 that the team will often rely on when they absolutely... It's 18 o'clock on the East Coast, 7 plus 5 is 12 o'clock on the West Coast. So that's 18 as opposed to 12. Now, is the East Coast less than or greater than the West Coast? Well, as you can see, 12 is less than 18. Yes, the West Coast is less than the East Coast. Now, if you're in the Central Time Zone, you subtract the East Coast from the West Coast, and you get, boom, 6. 6 o'clock, we're in at 6 o'clock in Kansas. Any questions? <laughs> How you doing? This is Mouth to Mouth. I'm Steve Scrovan. Our guest tonight, movie director Keenan Ivory Wayans, The Feelies, author Jay McInerney, and now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom Jones. You don't have to be beautiful to turn me on. I just need your body, baby, from dusk till dawn. You don't need experience to turn me out. You just leave it all up to me. I show you what it's all about. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to ruin my world. Ain't no particular sign I'm more compatible with. I just want your extra time and your kiss. <clears throat> You gotta not talk dirty, baby If you wanna impress me You can't be too flirty, mama I know how to undress me Let me be your fantasy And maybe you could be mine You just leave it all up to me we can have a good time You don't have to be rich to be my girl You don't have to be cool to ruin my world Ain't no particular sign I'm more compatible with I just want your extra time and your kiss Make a better dance now Your shoe size, baby, we could do the twirl. You don't have to watch a dynasty to have an attitude. You gotta leave it all up to me. My love will be your food. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to ruin my
Jones business. Once again, Tom Jones. Thank you, Tom. That's a whole new generation out there, Tom. Yeah. A whole new generation of women and panties, and the guy over there likes you too. <laughs> this is uh, this is off that album, The Best of the Art of Noise. Okay, so now how'd you hook up with these guys, The Art of Noise? Well, I was doing the song in um, in my show, in my stage show, mm -hmm. last year, and I was over in Great Britain doing a tour, and I did the song on uh, The Last Resort with Jonathan Ross. It's like a, a David Letterman type show. Mm -hmm. And The Art of Noise saw me do it, you know, on, on the show. So they called me up and said, would I like to record it with them? And I said, yeah, why not? Let's, let's give, it a, give it a go. Now, why did you have a, a song like Kiss in your stage act? Well, I, al I always try to update the show as much as possible. So I put in um, new material every year by other people. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm always looking for a, a lyrical content, a sexy lyrical content, which, which Kiss has. Like this year, I'm doing um, um, In Excess song. Uh, mm -hmm. What the hell is yeah. it called? <laughs> <laughs> I can't think have of the title of it. Have you done it yet? Yeah, yeah, I do it, you know, I, I put them in, as I say, every January, and I, I go through the year with it. You know, we came across, this is, uh, you did a video of Kiss, uh -huh. and uh, we understand this is not your first video you've done. And, no, I've uh, done a few videos, but... We, I, yeah, we have actually uh, uh, some footage here that we'd like to, to show you. Oh, yeah? From one of the, yeah. one of the videos. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. You still keep in touch with those kids? <laughs> are, oh, they, are they out on furlough yet, those I guys? I think they're... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, that was a, a Murray the K special in uh, 65, 1965. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. It was, uh, it was out in New Jersey Some It was a zoo in New Jersey. And we got the animals out of the cages and put... Put kids in the cages. Was that your concept, or no? I think it was Muddy the Case. <laughs> but um, I don't know whether people knew what was happening. But that was the. So they went with it. Yeah. And the goat looked pretty happy too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the goat was going. I wish I had some panties. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think the goat ate the panties. <laughs> no, I ate the panties. Now you did. Have, you had your own variety show uh, back yeah. around that time too. Yeah. Well, that was uh, 69, 70, and 71. Mm -hmm. Any. Particular guests that got in your mind? Uh. Well, a lot of them. I, I did um, a lot of duets with like Jerry Lee Lewis and Aretha Franklin. And, uh, Janis Joplin was. Janis, on what was she like? She was great. She was spaced, but she was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, used to, she used to walk around. With, she used to walk around with this um, with this bag with a bottle of uh, Southern Comfort uh -huh. in it. You know, and every sort of five minutes she would take a swig. And was, That's how she got her voice that way. Well, yeah, you know. She, so we, it was funny because. Um, we did this rock and roll uh, scream up, mm -hmm. and uh, after we did it, she said, "My God, you know, you can really sing." And I'd sort of been, you know, I'd, I'd done some ballads on the show and I'd done all kinds of things, but like the scream up that we did, she thought it was so like. So she was impressed with the fact that you could also scream as well as sing. I would think, so, yeah. Sing well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, but you it was to, yeah. Used to hang out uh, in uh, Las Vegas with Elvis too. Yeah. When. Um, when Elvis was working, well, actually, he came to see me in 68 when I was working at the Flamingo uh, to see it, what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Because Elvis worked Vegas in 1957 and didn't go over very well. So he wanted to work that again in, in the late, late 60s, but he was a little unsure because of his experience in, in the 50s. Mm -hmm. So he came to see me work and he said, that, you know, if you can do it, then I can do it because he felt there was a similar... So you were sort of giving him pelvis tips there? Uh, well, he was... <laughs> the pelvis himself? <laughs> he was, um, you know, he was watching what I was doing, and he, he felt we were sort of similar mm -hmm. in what we did on stage, so it sort of gave him confidence. He came back then Did you ever think 69. of doing anything with him? Uh... Well, he used to come on the stage, you know. I mean, I was working Caesar's Palace, and he was at the Hilton, mm -hmm. and we would watch one another work. And sometimes he would just walk on the stage. Was he in decent shape at that time, or was it he yeah, beginning yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 69 he was, yeah. He was down to the bone then. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was really thin then. 
but then uh, I think from about 1970 he started started putting weight on. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is like the farthest a fan has gone to show their appreciation for you? Oh God! <laughs> and keep in mind, we're on cable. So, yeah, right. <laughs> They've done all kinds of things. I mean, one time uh, a girl jumped on the stage and she sort of wanted, I mean, check out to see if everything was as it seemed, you know. <laughs> I think I get your drift, so yeah. she actually... Hooked on? And, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So. And did she let go during the well, course of the song? <laughs> <laughs> so, after, you know, afterwards, the, I mean, the security fella came over, but he didn't know what she was, you know, actually... Wait, so, wait, she, she was last on, he didn't know what she was doing? No, not really. Well, you know, it's, anyway, so he, he... He wanted to check with you first. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is this good for you, Tom, or what? I'm here anytime you need me. <laughs> <laughs> but then, you know, so, so after that, I, I spoke to the audience in a higher voice, you know, just... <laughs> but just to try and make light of it, you know. Yeah, well, we're going to take some phone calls. The phone lines are lighting up, Tom. Uh -huh. We're going to take some phone calls. Right. And uh, we got line three, David? Okay. Hi, you're on the air with Tom Jones. Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm from San Francisco, California. And my question is, um, Mr. Jones, can you please tell me what kind of music you like? Because I really like Bowie, and I like the Beatles, but I really like the Beatles. What kind of music do you like? Edible? What? What do you prefer? Did you say edible? Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid so, Tom. I thought they were all edible. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Cotton really breathes, Tom. Uh, no, well. <laughs> you don't want to get your, your cotton poly blends. You got to be careful of because it gets yeah, stuck in your throat. I found right. that from doing this show. Well, <laughs> well, thanks for calling. Uh, for <laughs> the very incisive question. I think that was Barbara Walters. <laughs> we have another call. Hi, you're on mouth to mouth with Tom Jones. Yes, this is Robert from Carl, South Carolina. Hi, Robert. And my question for Mr. Jones is. Do you really enjoy the business, or did you just happen to find out that you were good at it and went along with it from there? No, I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed it. I, I, I've always sang. I used to sing as a, as a kid in school, and uh, I always wanted to become a professional entertainer. So, and I, and I still love doing it. I, I wouldn't do it otherwise. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, I mean, I've come to a point in my career that I don't have to do it financially, but I, I still do it because I, I enjoy doing it. I, I wouldn't know what else to do. What have been the reactions to uh, this KISS video now that the, you're reaching this new generation of fans? Mm. There, is there any difference between the reactions in the old days to new or...? It's, it's basically the same, you know, but I'm, I'm glad I, I, I've had a chance to do a, um, a contemporary record because I've, I've been trying to tell record companies that I've been with for the last, oh God, ten years. You were sort of in a, in a country phase. Yeah, I, I signed with, with, uh, with Polygram. Funnily enough, this, this is on Polygram, this, this mm -hmm. record. But... Uh, <laughs> Some record people from Polygram are here. But when I, I, I signed with them in, in 1980, and they, and they put me in the, in the country division, uh -huh. and they wouldn't let me record anything else. Uh, the, uh, I signed for five albums over five years, and uh, that was it. So, so I, you're actually being held hostage in a country. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they wouldn't let me record anything else. But now, yeah. thank God, I've... Now you're this. breaking out. What's next? Uh, well, more of the same, I hope. I've signed now with, with Jive Records in, in London, mm -hmm. and we're going to do an album. So that'll be a contemporary, uh, contemporary album. So we, we're just starting that now. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on, Tom. Yeah. Thanks Thank for you. coming down. <laughs> we're here with Tom Jones. We'll be right back with writer, actor, director, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Yeah.